gather for a few minutes while we get everything wrapped up. So I just wanted to talk for a few minutes about what we're going to do with some of the ideas, the discussion, uh, the product that we came up with today, and, and what, are, what are the next steps. Uh, we're actually a little bit ahead of schedule, which is quite, uh, quite rare. So obviously we have a punctual group, uh, even though we talked about the need for a longer budget process. Uh, so there's a few things we want to do, and it's, it's great to have this, uh, this group here today. Um, number one is we're going to try and capture some of the ideas from today's discussion and package it up into a kind of report uh, that, uh, that makes some recommendations and puts forward some ideas against the five themes that we talked about today. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll have some, some really interesting ideas, I'm sure, I'm sure we will, uh, and we'll circulate that to the group uh, once that's put together. It may take a little while to put together, but we want to we do that. Uh, secondly, we have the idea of um, rolling these principles and ideas up into a kind of very simple better budget pledge for the next uh, election campaign that candidates either at the council level or the mayoral level could sign on to. Because again, you know, we think these things are uh, relatively uh, nonpartisan in nature and think that people should agree to. So the idea of a better budget pledge, um, you know. Where we could use your help on that is, uh, you know, for those of you who've had experience trying to get candidates to sign on to things and to uh, actually reach into the election process, I know it's, it's a time consuming, challenging thing, so, you know, we may need some help as we, as we get into that. Uh, and the third uh, point is, how can we improve the quality of budget and fiscal and financial debate during the election campaign? There are lots of numbers that get thrown around. Uh, and there's, there are lots of uh, important um, figures that are out there. And so do we need a form of fact-checking, additional fact-checking that happens? Do we need a, a debate of candidates that are focused on fiscal issues and, and budget issues? And how do we inject into that debate, not just you know, what the tax rate is, but the kinds of ideas we've talked about as a group today uh, as something that we urge our elected officials and our candidates to, to advocate. Um, and so those are some ideas, uh, those are some areas in which we would love uh, your continued participation. Uh, you can continue to, to reach us at our, our Twitter, Twitter handle, uh, BetterBudgetDO, our website, uh, BetterBudget.ca, and we'd love if you could uh, stay in touch with us as we move forward. Also, if you have photos or video or other kind of documentation of today, uh, please send them to us. Uh, we would love to include those in our, our report. Um, I just want to flag a couple of important dates that are coming up for those of you interested in the budget. Uh, one is uh, the group that Anita Khanna did work with for Commitment to Community is holding a, a strategic planning session around the budget next Tuesday from 5.30 to 8.30. That's at the YWCA on Elm Street. So again, that's next Tuesday, a Commitment to Community public event around planning, strategic planning around the budget process. Uh, 5.30, 8.30, a chance to put into action some of the ideas we talked about today in the context of this year's budget process. And speaking of this year's budget process, the, the date, unless I'm, I'm wrong, I think it's November the 25th is the date at which city staff releases the draft budget, so keep an eye on that date as well and see if some of the principles we talked about today are reflected in the, the documents that are released. And if not, how can we inject some of those ideas into the debate around this year's budget uh, as well? Uh, I just want to say a couple quick thank yous because a lot of effort went into pulling today's event and, and uh, I think it's gone really well. Uh, so first of all, of course, speakers in the morning, uh, Desmond Cole, Matt Elliott, and, and Anita Khanna, uh, you know, thank you. I don't know if any of them are, are still in the room, but uh, they did a great job this morning. Uh, and um, so thank you. Uh, to the, the Wellesley Institute team, the Wellesley Institute has been a huge uh, support uh, through, through this event. and. Uh, They've done, a lot of, they've done a lot of work before in the budget process, and, and they're doing more. And uh, so to Sheila, Joe, Shigana, Lisa Marie, and Alex, uh, thank you very much for partnering with us uh, on, on this event. Um, I'd also like to thank other members of our organizing committee outside the, the Better Budget TO group, uh, Gabe, Andre, and Sasha, who are also facilitators today, put a huge amount of effort into planning this and, 
reaching out to other groups. So, so thank you uh, to the three of you. Um, thanks to the Center for Social Innovation for hosting and providing the food, and to the many of you who provided input and helped promote the event ahead of time. Uh, thank you very much, and, and really, most of all, thank you to, to all of you for, for coming and really devoting your Saturday to public service, to city building, to uh, participatory democracy uh, in a form, and uh, we really, really appreciate it. It's been a great day. I think we've learned a lot and gained a lot from you, and hopefully, you know, form some new uh, relationships that will continue past today. So there is an opportunity to continue those relationships right now. Uh, if you want to come to the Victory Cafe uh, at 581 Markham, we're going to be heading over there shortly for our post-event social, casual, and continue the conversations. And uh, if not, we will see you. We'll see you soon.